This movie tells a story about Milton, who lives a quiet life of routine in a small western Pennsylvania town. He has a son who doesn't really talk to him, and a daughter who is increasingly concerned about his mental well-being. One day, a spaceship crash lands in his backyard, and he finds himself confronted by the sight of an injured alien. This movie is a sweet and simple tale about growing old with dignity intact. Unfortunately, this movie is very ordinary. It feels like a comedy sketch expanded into a bland feature story. The movie fails to explore the emotional aspects of its characters, especially Milton. Its bizarreness almost completely overshadows the film's emotional impact. The movie doesn't use Milton's relationship with the alien to tease out his inner quality of emotional magic. The alien never becomes a tantalizingly ambiguous figure, as she's more like a figurine. The alien design looks exactly like all the drawings of aliens we've been seeing since the 1970s. The movie doesn't quite fully flesh out aspects of Milton's past, and some issues between him and her daughter, Dennis, feel cheaply and conveniently resolved. Dennis' character is reduced to a living symbol of the begrudging tolerance that adults often have for their burdensome parents, while Sandy and Harris are more of a plot device than a fully dimensional person. The movie devotes much of its first act to a repetitive series of public meetings, only so that we could be in on the joke when everyone rolls their eyes at Milton's complaints about the spaceship that crashed in his backyard. There's a subplot involving government agents spying and searching for information on the spaceship crash landing, but their appearances are so fleeting they barely even register in terms of tension in the story. This subplot doesn't necessarily add much to the greater narrative as well. Overall, this movie is nothing special. We do not recommend to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.